Hey guys, thanks for stopping in. This is Mark with D7 where I cover drone tutorials and technology and today I'll be covering hidden features in the hyperlapse mode. Super happy to have found these features so I'm pretty sure you'll find them helpful too. I do have another video on other hidden features in the DJI GO 4 app to check out so link is in the description below. Now it's just a couple of features I'll show you but because they're so helpful I'll go into pretty good detail about them. Hidden feature number one, ability to lengthen your hyperlapse video during recording. So to use this hidden feature, we'll go ahead and select circle hyperlapse and take a mental note here that the interval is set at two seconds Video length is at 5 seconds, speed is at 1.1 miles per hour, and the duration is 4 minutes, 8 seconds, number of frames is 125. Alright, and then I'll just go ahead and select go, so we can get started with this mode. Let the aircraft verify the subject location. Alright, so now that it's calculated the center point, I'm going to go ahead and switch to the map and make sure that the center point is where I want it to be, and it is as designated by that purple pin. I'll go ahead and switch back to live view feed, and now I'm finally going to show you where the hidden feature is. Right there is that clock symbol with the plus sign on it. So when I touch on that symbol, it increases the number of frames by 25. So it used to be 125 frames, now it's 150 frames. And by adding those additional frames, it does add one second to your hyperlapse video. And it's also important to note that the shooting time is extended by 50 seconds. So now it's at 4 minutes and 59 seconds. So something to be aware of because that does affect your flight time as well until completion of the hyperlapse mode. Another important factor related to the shooting time is that it is affected by the photo interval set before you started the hyperlapse mode. So if you set a 2 second interval multiplied by 25 frames equals 50 seconds, 3 seconds times 25 frames equals 75 seconds, and so on. So again, every time you hit that clock symbol, you will add to the shooting time and flight time by that amount. And so this feature is available in 3 of the 4 hyperlapse submodes free, circle, and course lock, but not waypoint, which makes sense because you're actually determining the length of the hyperlapse video based on the waypoints you set. Hidden feature number two, correctly frame your hyperlapse videos. Go to your camera settings, select the gear symbol, Swipe up and you'll see this feature called Hyperlapse Video Frame. When you select it, you'll see these brackets that appear as noted by the arrows. Switch it off, they disappear. Switch it back on, they reappear. So I'm going to highlight these brackets in red so you can see them better. And so the importance of these brackets is to show the actual area where the processed hyperlapse video will cover and so it's cropped within the full view because the process photos are cropped to produce a smoother, stabilized hyperlapse video. So to demonstrate this feature, I'm in the course lock mode as you can see, and I've pre-composed my shot here. I'm going to go ahead and turn away, and then set my course lock path. Okay, course lock has been locked go back and recompose my shot and actually reframe my shot a little bit here so I'm going down and I'm gonna go ahead and move in a little bit and go ahead and start the hyperlapse mode.
Alright guys, so that is it. I hope you found at least one of these features to be helpful for you. If you did, appreciate you hitting that like button. Thanks for watching you guys. Happy flying. Bye.